If you have a scene or chapter in your current novel that's just not working or somehow falls flat, then this tip is for you. Get ready for the Save the Cat scene beat sheet. That's right, the Save the Cat plotting method can be used for individual scenes and chapters as well as full stories. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jessica Brody, author of Save the Cat Writes a Novel and the founder of the Writing Mastery Academy. These Writing Mastery videos feature tips, tools, and techniques to take your writing and your writing career to the next level. In this video, I'm going to show you how the beats of the Save the Cat beat sheet can be used to structure, outline, write, or revise a scene or chapter in your novel. So I've been using Save the Cat to structure and plot my novels for more than 12 years and 20 novels now. I even wrote a book on the topic. And yet every day I feel like I'm still learning and expanding my knowledge about this marvelous thing called story structure and the seemingly secret code that appears inside all stories. This code or skeleton or framework or beat sheet appears in all great stories. It's basically the secret sauce that makes stories work. And it's this very code that I break down and teach others how to use in my book, Save the Cat Writes a Novel. By the way, be sure to click the link in the description down below in order to get a free Save the Cat starter kit, which will teach you more about the Save the Cat method. But did you know that this storytelling code doesn't just appear in stories as a whole? It can also be found in smaller chunks of narrative like an individual scene or chapter. That's right, I've recently discovered that many of the 15 beats that make up the Save the Cat beat sheet can actually be found in scenes of books, not just in the plot of the book itself. And since discovering this, I've started to use this to outline individual scenes and chapters in my novels before I sit down to write them, or when I'm trying to revise a particularly tricky scene that I just can't seem to get to work. And similarly, in some of my older novels that I wrote before I discovered this trick, I found that scenes that I love, that seem to work especially well, tend to have many of the key beats that make up the Save the Cat beat sheet. Meanwhile, the scenes that I struggled with or that I still think fall flat don't have enough of these key beats. Whoa! Mind blown! I'll show you what I mean. I've taken the liberty of analyzing chapter one of a very popular and successful novel called The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. As you can see, the scene has 10 of the 15 beats right there in this short five page chapter. And here they are. This scene beat sheet also appears on my blog, which you can find a link to in the description below. Beat one, setup. Robert Langdon wakes up to a phone call. We get a glimpse of his hotel room and discover that he's in Paris. It's the middle of the night. Beat two, catalyst. Langdon picks up the phone and the hotel concierge tells him that he has a visitor with an urgent message. Beat three, debate. Who is this visitor? Who could it be? In trying to answer this debate question, we learn that Langdon gave a talk at the University of Paris tonight, and he believes he might have ruffled a few feathers. It's probably a religious scholar who has followed him back to his hotel to pick a fight. Beat four, break into two. Robert makes a decision on how to handle the situation and tells the concierge to take a message and tell the visitor he will call him back. Beat five, fun and games. Thinking he's dealt with the issue, Langdon remembers more of the recent evening and a flashback during which we learn that Langdon is a famous symbologist who recently had a somewhat embarrassing article written about him in the Boston Globe. Beat six, midpoint, false victory. Langdon's seeming success of dealing with this strange call a few minutes earlier turns out to be false when the concierge calls him again to tell him this mysterious visitor is now on his way up to his room because the concierge cannot presume the authority to stop him. The stakes are raised. Beat seven, bad guys close in. The knock comes at his hotel room door and the visitor is revealed to be none other than a police lieutenant who tells him that the police captain is requesting Langdon's expertise in a private matter. This bizarre situation is starting to feel more and more perilous. Beat eight, all is lost. When Langdon asks about this private matter, the lieutenant slides a photograph under the door that was taken inside the Louvre Museum tonight. The picture shows a dead Jacques Saunier, whom Langdon was supposed to meet earlier tonight, but who never showed up. His body is positioned very strangely. Hmm, whiff of death? Beat nine, dark night of the soul. Why was he positioned like that? Langdon asks this very question to the lieutenant who tells him in beat 10, break into three. Monsieur Saunier did that to himself. And that is the end of the chapter. Ending a chapter or scene on the all is lost or the break into three is an effective and common strategy because those are the beats that would usually form a cliffhanger or a question to be answered, 
leading to the next scene or chapter when the answer to that cliffhanger or question becomes the new scene's setup. And on and on it goes. Imagine if every scene or chapter in your novel had catalysts and midpoints and all is lost. What an exciting non-stop page turner that book would be. Now it's important to note, scene beat sheets are going to feel much less dramatic than full plot beat sheets. We can't have every scene have life-changing stakes and mind-blowing plot twists, but we can create scenes that are dynamic and interesting, simply by making sure our scenes have at least some key scene beats. I've created a Save the Cat scene beat sheet template, which can also be found on my blog. Again, I'll link that in the description below. Here is the Save the Cat scene beat sheet template. Setup. An introduction to the scene, giving us a small bit of information about who the character is and where they are, literally and metaphorically, at this moment of the story. Catalyst. Something happens to send the scene in a new direction, even if it's just a slight shift. Sometimes this is just a question that's asked, or a goal or situation or opportunity that's presented to the character. Break into two. A decision or active step that a character makes in the scene, usually in an effort to answer the catalyst question, or pursue the catalyst goal slash situation slash opportunity. Note, this can be as simple as wanting to get someone off the phone and go back to sleep, like the example in the Da Vinci Code. Midpoint. A moment in which the character feels like they're succeeding or failing in whatever that goal, situation, opportunity was that you presented in the break into two. This would either be a false victory, they did succeed in the opportunity, or a false defeat, they did not. And then, some kind of twist sends the scene in another direction, or raises the stakes of the scene. All is lost. A low point in the scene, usually coming with a sense of defeat or failure, or another turning point or twist. Break into three. Possibly another active step that will catapult the character and the reader into the next scene. Note, this beat can also come at the start of the next scene or chapter as the new setup. So there you have it, a proven template for making every scene or chapter in your novel dynamic and engaging. Give it a try. Find a problematic scene in your current novel or work in progress and see if you can identify which beats are missing. What happens when you try to restructure that scene and rewrite it using the template that I gave you? Does it help? If you want to learn more about the Save the Cat plotting method, check out my book, Save the Cat Writes a Novel. Link is also in the description. Or check out my online on-demand course, Write a Best-Selling Novel in 15 Steps, which is available in the Writing Mastery Academy, my online writing school. I've also linked that below. Plus, be sure to sign up for my free Save the Cat Starter Kit, which includes an overview of the 15 beats or plot points that every great story should have, and three full beat sheet analyses of popular novels. If you have a topic suggestion for a future Writing Mastery video, be sure to leave it in the comments. Until next time, happy writing, everyone!